Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. I'm coming at you today with a pretty big haul of CDs that I've picked up over the past few weeks. So uh, let me get into this. First up, I found this CD release by Culture. Now, Culture is a reggae band, and I'm not even going to pretend to be an expert on these guys. All I know is that I've seen a couple people in the BC show albums by Culture. I know, uh, after reading the liner notes, that they influenced a lot of the punk bands. I'm assuming probably The Clash, because, um, you know, you listen to Sandinista and some of their other albums, and the reggae and the dub is all over those records. So... I guess what I'm saying is if you like Sandinista, some of the dub reggae stuff on there, you're going to love this. Uh, the band is Culture, and this is the uh, 30th anniversary edition of their CD, Two Sevens Clash. Okay, it includes some bonus tracks and, uh, you know, a great little booklet on the band as well. So very cool if you're into, again, reggae, dub, anything like that would sound like Sandinista type stuff check this record out basically the clash ripped off culture is what i'm saying all right next i uh, found this craft work trans europe express and this is an early pressing of this cd i think that there is a remastered version of this out there i think but i found this wanted to pick that up been on sort of a Rolling Stones kick. I don't know what took me so long to pick up Steel Wheels, but I found this at the store. It was $4.99 in beautiful condition. And, uh, you know, listened to it. I was like, yeah, what a great record. And then I saw this, and I thought twice about picking it up. But then I picked it up. The cover has always kind of thrown me, and I... I've heard through the years some negative things about this record, but I decided to pick it up. It was in great condition, brought it home. It's actually in the CD player right now. And I was like, "What? why the negative attention on this record? It's really good. It starts off with one hit to the body, which I like. Fight is great. Harlem Shuffle, the cover, is a great song. You know, there's a couple weak tracks in here. Um, what's the reggae tune on here? Uh, is it too rude? Maybe? I don't know, but I like that song as well. So, pretty good record. I mean, again, I don't know why it gets some hate, but I like it. Found this, um, Gong, Wing Full of Eyes. And this is a retrospective from 75 to 78. And it includes some of those records right there. Um, I have some early gong, and it is out there. It's strange. This is a little bit more tame. This is almost like a, sort of like a jazz fusion type thing. Really, really dig it. Again, I'm not an expert on gong, but I really dig this. So I might need to pick up some of those records as well. Big McCoy Tyner fan. Found this record, Extensions. Sort of looks like a National Geographic cover. Okay. And this has McCoy Tyner on piano. Alice Coltrane on harp. Wayne Shorter on saxophone. Ron Carter on bass. So quite a uh, you know collection of players. Four tunes. There's a song called Message from the Nile that's over 12 minutes long. And another tune called Survival Blues, which is over 13 minutes long. Very cool CD on Blue Note. Happy to find that. I've also been on a John Lennon kick as well. And, um, you know, I, I've heard a lot of his stuff through the years, but I've never really owned a lot of CDs. So I'm starting to pick up more of them. This is John Lennon's Rock and Roll. And it is what it is. I mean, it's John Lennon covering a bunch of rock and roll tunes like uh, Bebop Alula, Stand By Me, Ain't That a Shame, uh, Peggy Sue, and so on. But very good. Uh, a loose recording, but I like it. This is an interesting album, Sometime in New York City. And this is the 2005 reissue. 
okay. Um, newly remastered. It includes some interesting songs, I'll just say that. And I was talking to Jeff Witcher about this. There's a tune on here, and it's a live jam. It's over 15 minutes long. It's called Don't Worry, Kyoko. And uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll ever listen to that song again. The jam is cool, but Yoko is literally in the back screaming. And again, I kind of get what she was doing. Sort of the avant-garde art rock type thing. But I just can't take it. I mean, and I like some of Yoko's songs, but that I'm probably never going to listen to again. It's a shame because the jam is really cool. Found this, and I've never seen the movie before, but this is the soundtrack for Hope Floats. Sandra, 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 Sandra Bullock. Not sure how you say her name. But I looked at the artists on this, and you have Garth Brooks doing uh, To Make You Feel My Love. Cheryl Crow's on here. The Stones are on here doing Honest I Do. Martina McBride, The Mavericks, which I love. Dina Carter, Lyle Lovett, Brian Adams, and Trisha Yearwood does her version of To Make You Feel My Love. So just a, a great collection of artists, and uh, the songs are, are very good. So might need to check out the movie. Looks like a chick flick. Guess I'm going to have to find a chick. I'm seeing these guys in September at Daryl's house in Pauly, New York. They might be giants. And this is a collection of rarities called They Got Lost. And it includes 21 songs that did not appear on official records. So very cool. They might be giants. Just a quirky, great band. Can't wait to see them live. Uh, picked up a, a few Broadway soundtracks. This is uh, a soundtrack for the Broadway show, The Last Five Years. And I'm trying to see the composer. Yes, music and lyrics written by Jason Robert Brown. And I believe that he also wrote Bridges of Madison County, which I really like as well. Just great, sort of an updated Broadway sound, The Last Five Years. Picked up the London cast recording of Working. I've actually been in two local productions of this show. This is based off of Studs Terkel's book, Working, where he went and interviewed a bunch of uh, people at their jobs in the 70s. And uh, Stephen Schwartz, the guy who did Godspell, went and put music to it. There's music on here by uh, James Taylor as well. And Chris, um, what's his last name? Carnelia, as I think is how you say his name. He wrote the Broadway show, Is There Life After High School, which is another great show. I was in a local production of that as well. But just great music. I haven't heard the London version of it. I have the original Broadway cast recording on vinyl and CD, but I got to check this out as well. Picked up Million Dollar Quartet. And this is a Broadway musical about the night that uh, Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, and um, Jerry Lee Lewis got together at Sun Records. And uh, I mean, the track listing, 21 songs, Blue Suede Shoes, Matchbox, Folsom Prison Blues, 16 Tons, Long Tall Sally, Great Balls of Fire, Hound Dog, just, just killer, killer music. Would love to see a production of this. And lastly, a Christmas album. It's not Bing Crosby, though. It's not Ann Murray. It's not the Ray Conniff Singers. It's Mojo Nixon. And this is his Christmas album, Horny Holidays. Can't wait to spin this. I'm going to wait till December, though. Happy birthday, Trim Yo Tree. Mr. Grinch. Head Crushing Yuletide Sing Along. Boogie Woogie Santa Claus. Uh, Sleigh Ride, Little Man Song. Go Tell It on a Mountain. Can't wait to hear his version of that. And Twas the Night Before Christmas. And I'm sure that there's that Mojo Nixon humor throughout this. Haven't listened to it yet. I love his records with Skid Roper. 
Um, the tune Elvis is Everywhere. That's such a great song. Debbie Gibson is pregnant with my two-headed or three-headed love child. Can't remember. But that's a great song, too. Mojo Nixon. So funny. So that's what I picked up CD-wise. Yeah, I'm still buying CDs. I'm going to keep, keep buying CDs. And if the CD revival thing ever comes to fruition, I can say that I sort of never stopped buying CDs. So there you go. All right, guys.